Guys, it's Daniel from The Tool Room. How are you all doing this evening? Tonight, I'd like to do one of my favourite things I like doing, and that is to do some tool bag tours. Now, in the past, I've done them all, all like one at a time, but tonight, I'm hoping I can just whiz through all my bags, actually, and do a tool bag tour of them. And there's quite a lot of them, okay? And just show you, like, basically what I use things for. Um, I'm going to try and slow this down. I'm going to try and speed this up, shall I say, a little bit, by, like, not going into, like every single screwdriver and showing you that. I'm just gonna try and show you some of the more interesting stuff, okay? So let's get straight into that, okay? So you can see I've got quite a lot of bags here. There's a couple of bags which I'm not gonna deal with tonight, which I do use for work. So I've got a Tech OTLC over there. I've got a OTMC there, which I'm not gonna deal with tonight because we have the reviews coming up of them first, okay? And then I've got um, some inserts for some of my Vito bags there. And I've got an MB2 Black out there, which I'm not using just at the moment. Um, let's start um, down here though, actually, with uh, one of my one bags that isn't a Vito bag. And at the moment, um, you've seen the video on this as well. This is my Klein Rolling 2 bag. There's not a rip in it there. I'm just hiding my name on there, okay? And in this, um, I keep my drills. So I'm using this as my drill bag at the moment. Now, unfortunately, it is a bit tired now, this bag. Um, the zips are starting to go a bit on it. But um, it's years old, so I'll give it a break for that. So this will probably be replaced by a Vito. Um, at some point um, and decide whether the best thing for this should be the DRXL or the uh, Tech Pack Roller for keeping the drills in. I haven't quite decided that yet, but uh, I will keep you informed on that. Um, so in here I've got my uh, I've got my Bosch combination drill, I've got my Bosch SDS drill, um, I've got a Vito uh, PB4 bag, which is a uh, Full of uh, drill bits. Um, got some moving spade bits. I got a Barco bit set in there. Uh, I've got a uh, Dewalt battery, which I need to give back to my boss because it's his. And I've got in the front here. There's not a heck of a lot of stuff in here, to be honest. Um, I've just got kind of a random set of our drill bits. Uh, about bits, things like that, and that, that's literally it for that bag. Um, so I just use that to roll around my drills in at the moment. So um, that's really it. Moving up here then, the bags I use on a daily basis for work. Um, this is my Vito Pro Pack TPXL, and this is my service bag I use, okay? So again, this isn't about the bags tonight as such. I'm just going to show you how it's about the tools in them. I try not to keep too much on the outside of my bags because I like to keep them as waterproof as I can, my tools. So I don't like to keep too much on the outside. I do use them sometimes if I just want to put things in it. But uh, I'll show you what's inside this, what I use for servicing. Remember, I'm in fire and security. Okay, so I've got a little bag in there, which is uh, a little zipper bag, which is... Uh, full of just bits and things like that. Um, but you know, screws fixing, things like that. Um, these bags are a little bit subject to change. Okay, so I've got your the uh, new Nibex uh, Cutex knife. Okay, um, and there's a review on this coming up. I just have not had much chance to use it, but I have used it a few times now. So there is a review of this coming up. So look out for that. Um, and that was given me by Nipex. Um, I've got the CK scissors. Now, this is one of the things I don't go Nipex with because for me, I do actually tend to use these scissors as scissors. So they are slightly more scissorsy than the uh, Nipex ones because the Nipex ones are more sort of uh, stripper and uh, cutting cable orientated. So I use the little CK ones for that and they're cheap as well. They're about 13, 14 quid. So they're quite cool. Um, in here, I've got a little uh, Klein ratchet and screwdriver. These are very pricey and they don't tend to have the more British bits on them. So that's the only thing I would uh, complain about with the with the Klein. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good little screwdriver. Um, here I've got uh, the uh, Nipex 70 series little cutters here. This is, um, it's normally like alarm servicing and stuff I'll be doing with this. So I just keep this as a little cutters in case I need to, you know, 
you know, strip a little wire or something, just alter something. I just keep this little one here, which is uh, sharp enough for that. It's getting a little bit blunt now, so if I replace it, I'll probably replace it with the 160mm. But there we go. Right, I've got the ACT 6000 uh, multimeter. This is um, in this is alarm orientated. This one is that's why I use this one rather than a fluke, but this is alarm orientated. So this is pretty cool. And I've got the ACT uh, 6000 uh, bat, sorry, ACT 612 battery tester, which is a great little tester. And I put them in there. Um, I've got a Ethos uh, laser distance measure, which is useful for uh, if you need to order a scissor lift or something like that. Um, I've got down the side here, I've got my uh, Kniepex uh, installation pliers. Um, these tend to move around in my pocket though, no matter what I'm doing, because they're just so useful. Um, in here, I used to have um, a little um, extra 2.5mm Weehar in there, but this is quite good for like um, taking screws off alarm panels. Um, in fire panels, the uh, Posi Zero there, so you don't get that in many sets, so I keep a Posi Zero in there. This, um, the Nipex Ergo Strip, I can't decide whether to keep this in my installation bag or leave it in here because I'm not using it too much in here at the moment, but it is really silly to be here for a while. Uh, this is um, what I call pokey thing. Um, and what this is for is, it's actually a bit broken as you can see, but what this is for is when you pull cables out of the terminals and the alarms and they pull out that little bit of metal um, in the panels, and then you can't get the cable back in, so this just pokes that bit of metal back up, so you can push the little cables back in. So that's useful for that, so that just stays in there. Uh, a brush, just a paintbrush, which I've highly decorated here. That's just for cleaning up panels, CCTV things, stuff like that. Um, this is the Weeha um, uh, ins insulated screwdriver set with interchangeable bits, and I've got an extra screwdriver on mine here. These are really useful because they take up a lot less space and they've got all the different heads on it that you'd want and they're slimline as well. So they just take up a lot less space. So that's a nice little set. Um, pens, no one cares about them. Uh, in here, I've got the uh, Fluke Volt Alert. Uh, speaks for itself, really. I have the Nebo Little Larry. It's always good to have a light. And I have the uh, Klein uh, crimpers for if any battery terminals are damaged or anything like that, I can crimp them back on. Um, so basically, there's not too much more I keep in here. I, I keep it, try and keep it as light as I can, and it's great for that. Um, and in the back here, uh, nothing to show in there really. I just keep like my company stickers and things like that in there. And I keep just a little uh, tester cable for proving things, a um, little bit of a core for proving things. Like, for example, if I get, um, oh, I don't know, an access door or something that isn't working properly, I can just run, uh, you know, that power cable straight from the panel, straight up to the part I want, just to see if it's, if it's a power issue or whatever. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I keep in my service bag. Oh, the one thing I did mention, of course, is that I just keep a uh, big set of all my uh, fire keys and things like that on here. All the keys I need for different things, aspects of doing my uh, job on a day-to-day -day basis. Right then, for my installation bag, I use the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack Blackout, which is an amazing bag. Um, in here, I keep another PB4 bag. I just keep like my ear protection and stuff, a bit of hand gel. Little sort of just little PPE things I keep in there, which is just uh, keeps stays nice and neat in this big front pocket here, so that's useful. Um, in here, I've got my little uh, embossed Nipex uh, badge on there, which Nipex sent me, which is quite cool. In here, I keep a coloured uh, highlighter, a little star one with lots of different colours on for marking out zone plans. I've got a couple of these are like. Um, these are little things that go on the end of my screwdrivers and then they cap they they capture the screw so you just slide them onto the screwdriver and they capture the screw like if you're trying to put like an emergency light on and stuff and it's in the ceiling um and then in here i've got <laughs> with my big gorilla paws i've just got a little uh vera uh, magnetizer demagnetizer in there and that's it but it's, it's nice because it's nice and simple to get to and it's, it's, a, it's a decent little place to keep it so you know where it is. Right, moving on to the main bit of the bag. Again, let's just look at the outside. Not much on the outside, just a bit of tape. 
a little mirror there for seeing behind panels if I need to. And I just keep the, I forget what we make these on, ah yes, a, a tracer pencil in the side there. Um, and again, the, the leads are my tracer pencil. And then that's for, um, this is a more inky, oh no, that's the pencil, sorry, that's the pencil. And then this one over this side is um, like an inky pen, like a marker pen. Um, so in the bag then, starting from here, we have um, we have this. I can't speak highly enough of this tool. This is the um, this is the uh, Nipex pliers wrench. Uh, this is amazing. I normally use this uh, for fire extinguishers actually, but fire extinguishers. And it's just absolutely brilliant. This is uh, this. I I'll do a review on this, but I can't. I can't speak highly enough of this tool. So we've got the pliers wrench. Then we've got um, a little Nipex Cobra. This is 180 mil Cobra, so that's useful. Uh, just got this. This is the uh, Klein. Uh, this is just a Klein Stanley knife, basically. Uh, this is really cool. But what I really like about this is that the uh, the blades automatically load and unload on them. So if I take that blade out, I just literally push this back, and the new one reloads automatically, and I don't have to bother doing it, which is cool. Uh, a bit lazy, but cool nonetheless. Uh, this is the Klein um, laser di distance measurer and volt stick, which is really cool. Uh, you can see I've done a review of this um, in one of my other videos for Klein. This was sent out to me by Klein, so that's really cool. Um, in here, I've got just a little stubby. I love this little pocket here because it just holds my stubby in. I've never had one. I've got a little extender bar there for uh, my stubby if I need it. I don't know if it's the object, I get that, but I can put in my drill or whatever. Here I've got a little uh, Kniebeck Super Nips. Just basically use that for cutting cable ties and things. Uh, this was a very expensive mistake. This is a £27 insulated uh, set of Nipex, um tweezers. 1000 volt insulated tweezers, which I thought would be really good for getting the fuses on a CCTV. Um, and it ain't very good for getting fuses on a CCTV, but... I do have a very nice set of tweezers now. Lucky me. Um, down here, because this is the install bag. Uh, this is the uh, Nebo Big Larry 2. So it's got a light on the top and a light there. Works the same as the other one. Good magnetic base on it though and a nice bright light. Um, I've got a Vera ratchet and screwdriver here, which um, I use a lot for CCTV. So you can see I've got actually, I've just changed a lot of these out and I've actually got a heck of a lot of sort of star, star keys in there, but I change them out as I see fit. And I'll just go to this now. I use this in conjunction with my Weira Tool Check Plus. So, you know, I just swap out the bits in both these things wherever I need them. These, none of these are the original bits. I've just changed them for what I wanted. Um, so that's a cool little tool. Um, screwdrivers wise, um, I keep one sort of demo driver in there for bashing things up and I use the, the Vera's here. These ones are the stainless steel ones, the blue ones, uh, they're all the laser tips, um, which I find to be really good. Um, but I say that I've got a, a combination of the, the blue ones, which are the stainless steel ones and, um, some of the normal ones as well, but these are more like the Phillips ones and things, which are the normal ones or the big flat heads. That sort of thing. Um, cutters why uh, I keep some of the little ones in there as well. Um, I've got uh, the Kniebex, uh knife there. It's an insulated knife. Um, kind of just bought this because it was cheap. <laughs> I've never really used it in an insulated way. I just use it for um, a knife. Um, let's just uh, drop this a sec so it's not blocking the view. Uh, here we are. Um, Kniebex needle nose. These are a really, really nice precision. I like these because they've got such a thin end on them. So they do exactly with this in the tin. They can get into small gaps. So these are really nice. Um, I like the slightly larger tools. So these are all about 200 mil, these tools are. Um, so that's the needle dose. I like to keep them there. They sit nicely there between the two pockets. Um, I got the... <laughs> I like, I like, I like, I like, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Finn's World's videos, but he's an Australian guy, and I like what he calls these, he calls these cocky beaks, so I like that, um, they're not called cocky beaks, but, uh, so these are my, uh, these are my Nipex shears, uh, 95 series, so the tops for sort of scoring and the bottom parts for cutting, but these are, these are a really nice set of uh, cable cutters, use these for fire alarm and stuff because they cut it nice and round and they don't crush the cable when you cut it expensive though but they are they are nice um 
side cutter, so just the uh, Knipex 74 range. I tend to use the the chromed ones. They're not quite as sharp as the no as the as the uh, traumatized versions. I don't think, but they they don't rust, which is good. Um, and I hate rusty tools. This one, when I bought it, I thought was the 200 mil, but when it turned up, it was the 225 mil. So this is just a high leverage um, set of combination pliers, insulated combination pliers. I don't always need insulated tools, but I just prefer the look of them and I prefer the handles on them. So I tend to buy the insulated ones. Um, I blew up my old ones. Um, and these are lineman's pliers. I've, I'm not gonna go on about these again, but you know how much I love lineman's pliers. Normally used in America, but I think they are a really underrated and amazing tool. So I always keep a set of lineman's pliers in there as well. So let's move on to the back then. Right, so moving on to the back then. Um, this. And this is now on this, as you can see, you, this is this is the this is the tech pack that you can change the inserts. Now, this one here um, is the original insert that comes with the tech pack. But to be honest, I have found. To be honest, I have found that I'm using the laptop one I found more interesting, um, or you're more useful, shall I say, uh, because um, I can fit this in there. Now, this is my Concept Pro CCTV tester. This is a really, really useful tool. I love this. Um, this saves me a heck of a lot of drama, um, and you can basically plug this into a camera, and you can work out whether it's the camera at fault or whether it's the cables at fault you can test the cables um you can test ip you can test um analog cameras it's just a really really good thing you can use it as a multimeter there's lots of different things you can do with this so this is the this is very much the cctv part of my bag which is something that's hard to find on a bag so this is really really useful um in here i've got a fluke t130 this is a voltage and continuity tester useful again for cctv um and in here i've got um klein wire strippers so that's quite useful i have a bnc stripper this is a green par it's a swedish make about 40 quid uh pretty decent uh bnc crimper i like that and i've got the uh knipex um i've got the knipex rj45 crimpers which are which i use which i use for um doing the data cable so these are really useful so i've got all the crimpers i need for everything I don't keep too much more in here to be honest um i've got uh just the plug for my um concept pro cctv i call this the sniffer this uh test cable uh this tests the uh cables um i haven't really used this much and to be honest i i don't really know too much about how this works but i i, I do like to call it the sniffer um and then I keep um, just a little couple of ends. That's a, that, that's a, that changes uh, different ends on some CCTV monitor connectors. Um, and I've got a tin of bits and bobs, a uh, Kribex tin of bits and bobs. And then just uh, my pens along here really, and I don't keep much else in this bag. Um, in here, I've just got, um, not really interesting, just got a couple of USB sticks and I've got a, uh, a, uh, a Nipex sort of a uh, charging block there. Uh, power power bank, that's what it is, yeah. Um, and in here then, in this area, I keep all my leads, all my cables for anything I need for CCTV. And that's it really. So this is my installation and CCTV bag. So moving on then, this here is my bag which I use for surplus tools. Now that's not to say that they're like less valuable tools or anything. There's some nice tools in here, but they're tools I use less often. So they're sort of the ones that are great when you need them, but you use them less often. I realize I'm rushing this through. So if there is anything you'd like to see, like a more detailed review on or anything, or if you want me to do each bag individually and do it less and do it in more detail, then I can, I'm, I, I'm more than willing to do that for you. Again, um, screwdrivers in here. I like the Vera screwdrivers, but in here I've got some of uh, the bigger sort of flat heads that I don't use very often. Sort of anything higher than a four mil, or 5.5 mil, something like that. Um, and then I've got it mixed in with a few um, uh, Klein screwdrivers. So I've got these uh, insulated ones here. Uh, these are pricey little so-and-sos, but again, the, they, they take up a little bit more room than the than the Vera's, but these are really, really lovely to use. Um, but again, I could only get the sort of Phillips end on that one there. 
um, so it didn't sort of come in sort of the, the more the posi drives and stuff like we use in the UK and then here I've got uh, the Vera Bendy screwdriver which is really useful because it's it's just a really useful screwdriver that is for getting into small gaps and it's one of those ones where if you need it you need it you might only use it twice a year but it'll it'll get you out of a pickle for those two times in that year um this is a great tool this is sent me by klein uh look out for the review coming out of this i've really had not much chance to use it because of the kind of work i've been doing at work but i actually used this to fix the car the other day and it was really useful you know getting the air box off it and things so this was really really useful so this is a great tool don't want to say too much about it now because again we're gonna have the review of that um keep a, keep a sort of set of uh vera demo drivers there um i just use them to just abuse them a little bit um moving on here uh, this is a client tool i don't like um this is a captivating screwdriver so it captivates the the screw by doing that so it's good if you do doing vertical work but just ugh, look at the end on that and that's where it's like new it looks like it's been eroded by acid or something so it's just like i don't know like most client tools are really really high quality but then you just get the odd one that's just like that um so i really don't like that screwdriver um so that just stays in the out the way um i've got a set of kinebex alligators these are great um these are just got the uh slidey function like that um and then i've got the uh kinebex quick set um cobras uh, what they do is the quick set means you can just sort of move them down and then you can just sort of slide them you can just sort of slide them straight up um without pushing the button in um up that up that flat side there um and then just lock them into place so they're really cool um these are some of the nicest um these are some of the nicest tin snips ever these climb ones are just gorgeous to use they're such high quality I've never used a Wiss or a Midwest one, which everyone raves about, but I feel no need to. These are lovely, lovely tin snips, uh, so they're a great tool. Uh, moving along here, we've got um, the Klein angled side cutters. Um, the only reason I don't use these, these are just as good as the Kinebex ones. However, they're just a little bit bigger. They're 225 mil, and they're more for heavy-duty things. So these will, um, you know, like I say, these things will cut through the tension in the air. These things are these are these are really beefy things and if you want to do a flat screw or something they're really useful for that um again another set of lineman's pliers these are the klein tools ones will's electrical services sent me these out so i'm really really grateful to him for that they're really expensive but these are the insulated ones um the only reason these aren't in my other bag they could be it's just because i'll just wear out the kinebex ones first and i'll move on to these ones so they're great but if i ever need an insulated set then great i don't ever will but um this is the um engineer negisaurus it's the rx i call it the negisaurus rex because like i wouldn't you when it's called a negisaurus um and these are good for uh extracting screws out of things you see the jaws there are sort of curved on the edge uh kenny Bex have just brought out a set of these as well which i'd like to get hold of um and these are just um for getting out screws and they will get into very very tight gaps and things so and pull screws which are very very flush out which is cool um here i've got a set of uh vera allen keys and down here i've got a set of vera um torx keys with the uh security dry security bits in the end though so why are these kept in here then um you think i use these often well I don't like L keys very much. I mean, if you're going to have L keys, these are really good ones. Um, but I just think like that if you put these ends on like a screwdriver or something, they're just far, far easier to use than on here. Um, I just find them awkward. And, you know, when I'm doing CCTV most of the time, I think the way forward for these is for to have the bits and put on top, put on attached to a ratcheting screwdriver, to, to screwdriver uh, ratcheting screwdriver. I just think that's the way forward um what else um we have in here right we have some really nice uh klein uh cable shears again these are just in here while um i had the other ones first so um when they wear out i'll be swapping in with these uh the kinebex ones and the other ones um and then i've got these uh klein 200 mil cable shears here these are quite new out for klein and klein gave me both of those they sent me both of those for reviews you can see my reviews of those uh shears on my channel um 
We've got a set of adjustable uh, Kniebex cable strippers. These are good if you're constantly yanking down on them because you can set them to one size and lock them in place. They used to be sprung, but I hate sprung tools, so I just removed the spring out of it. Um, these are an old set of Craftsman UFSA um, needle nose, but these are duck build ones, so these are quite cool because they're really, really flat. So if you pull cables, they don't damage the cables at all. Whereas the, so for example, the Kniebex ones in the other one, in the other bag, they will, you know, if you squeeze on them, they, they've, they're a little bit straight, so they will damage the cables, but if these don't. Um, I've got a couple of um, uh, Vera uh, Joker spanners, these are called, they're ratcheting spanners, really lovely spanners, but they're expensive. So I've only bought the 10 and 13 wheel ones. Um, I do have a set of... There you go, cheaper ones there, which I use for the car, which I've got in more sizes, but I feel like I don't want to ruin them by using them on the car. I know it's a tool and I'm being really a moron, but I feel like I just don't. Um, these are the Kniebeck step cuts. Um, so I get to have a set in here and, and I've got the, the cocky beaks in the other one. So these are really lovely uh, set of uh, cutters. These are really great. I love these, work really well. Um, and you know, you can get really good control on them. Uh, have a look at my review. I've got a full review on them as well. Those were sent to me by Kniebex again. So I'm um, really, really grateful for that. Uh, here I've got uh, the uh, Super Rod, which is one in the same as Klein uh, Gecko Gripper. So that's really good. It, it's got a really, really powerful magnet. So you can like pull cables through a wall, um, like through like a plasterboard wall or something by putting one magnet with one side on the string and using the other magnet to pull it along. Um, I'll demonstrate that one day. Um, this is for getting into lofts. If there's any sort of um, power power supplies or anything in lofts, that's for getting into there. Just handy to keep in there. Um, a little Kniebex 125 mil Cobra. That's a cool little tool. Love that. Um, and just down in the bottom here, I just keep a Stanley um, 16 ounce hammer. Nothing special at all. I just keep it in the bottom there. Um, and then um, that's that, that's it. That's it for the front there. Um, on the side here, um, I keep another little Larry torch, and I keep this Klein uh, 7.5 meter magnetic uh, tape measure. I really like this because it's drop tested and really heavy duty, and it's got like the numbers on both sides, which I really like. Um, so that's cool. Um, I like that. Um, uh, not much on that side, it's just a marker pen, really, which gets marked all over concrete. So now let's uh, move on to the back. So, moving on to the back. Now, apparently this is the back, because I've, I've learned from Vito that the front door is the one with uh, that Vito badge on the back, on it. <laughs> so that's that's all, this, so that means that's the front and this is the back. In here, um, I just keep my leads for my multimeter. Okay, so not a lot in there. I uh, don't think I keep anything in there at all, nothing in there, um, just a bit of tape, a bit of PTFE. Now this is the side which is a bit odd because I keep some sort of kind of household stuff in the back of this as well, aka the PTFE tape and I am not a gas engineer, so I keep uh, like uh, 22 mil and 15 mil pipe cutters up there and a plumber once left these to cap off pipes and she cut them so the water won't come through so they're useful so i use them um but then it's nothing to do with my work really but i just like to keep them on there um i've got a little miniature sort of junior hacksaw that's a minute or i think that's a tool station owned brand i don't buy like expensive tools if it's something i don't use all the time i just think that's a bit of a waste um i've got the klein tools uh hacksaw um this is a good one because you can keep spare blades in there and you can keep like a little um, attachment in the front there, which I've got in one of my bags for sewing. So that's cool. Um, I've got the Klein tools. I've shown this in many videos, so I won't get up. I've got the Klein tools folding jab saw. Um, I've got another little fluke here. This one's the T90, so it's not quite as fancy, but it's, it's just an extra one in case one breaks. So that's another continuity and voltage tester. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is this cap on here keeps coming off and then, you know, you can give yourself a pretty nasty stab with those with those blades on there. I've um, got a couple of adjustable screwdrivers here. Um, this one's like, uh, this big one's an El Cheapo forged steel one from Screwfix. And then this little one here is a not-so-cheap uh, Barco one. But they kind of made like 
a bit redundant by the by the Nipex one I was showing you earlier. Um, they are just made a bit redundant by that. Um, I've got a sort of bendy magnet in here. This is a Draper Expert. Um, if I want to cut my um, if I want to cut my conduit or anything nice and nice and straight, just got an angled cutter there. Not a cutter, sorry, an angled uh, square there. Uh, this is just for scraping rubbish out of nooks and crannies. Very, very, very rarely use that, but. You know, sometimes if you're doing something outside, there might be a bit of rubbish, and you want to just scrape it out. And it just leaves you a nicer surface. Um, I've got the. I like this because it looks like an octopus. So if you imagine legs coming out of there, it looks like a bit of an octopus. Yeah, but yeah, this is the uh, Dino. This is a battery-powered uh, label writer, uh, which is quite cool. Um, and I use that for just labeling up zones and things like that uh, on alarms. Um, Another knife again. I like this one. This is an arm egg one because it's nice to grip hold of and it's self loading again. Uh, what else? Uh, a couple of uh, punch down tools here in case I ever have to connect. It doesn't happen very often again, but sometimes you might have to connect a alarm cable into a BT box, so that's good for that. Um, this is a useful little tool. I've done a review of this video. You can see this video. Again, this is really useful if you're installing fire smoke alarms or anything or in ceiling tiles. You can just poke the holes through and it's got the uh, 5, 6 and 7 mil um, markers on it. So you can just do that nice and easily. A uh, little, little pry bar. Useful if you can't get something off a wall or some screws are seized or something. Say you're taking an old alarm box off and you know you don't need to keep it so it doesn't matter if it breaks. You can't get the screws out because they're all rusty. You can just pry it off with that. And then, uh, last but not least, um, oh, sorry, the little paintbrush there again, and for just cleaning things. And then I got a Klein MM700 multimeter in there. It's a really good meter, uh, sent to me by Klein, one of the tough meters as well, so it's drop tested and everything. So that's a good meter. The only reason I use that one, um, I keep the only reason I use the blue one in my main service bag is because that is, um, technically, you know, an alarm orientated meter. Whereas that one actually does a lot more, so it's a more expensive meter, but so it's a better meter, but I, I, it's it's not alarm orientated, so I tend to use it for that. So that is it, guys. That's um that's my tool bag tour. Sorry, I've rushed through them all. Um, again, like I say, if you do want to see any in more detail, um, and a slower one, just let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know about uh, what tools you use, guys. Um. Let me know, you know, if there's any of these tools you want to know a little bit more about, where you can get them from, etc. And I'll try and provide that for you. Um, I'm just going to say as well, there's another pocket up there, which I don't really keep anything in. But hey ho. Um, and yeah, guys, as always, thank you for everyone who's liked and subscribed. Really appreciate it. Thank you for all your comments. Um, please, again, guys, leave me a comment. I really enjoy talking to you about this. And again, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more videos. We've got some more Vito uh, bag reviews coming up, as I've mentioned to you. So that's going to be really cool. We've got some Nipex reviews coming up. We've got a Klein review coming up. So um, a couple of their tools they've sent out. So we look forward to doing that. And uh, stay tuned. And um, yeah, have a good night, guys. And thank you very much. Night, night. Um, have a good night.